way. This is typically what a common room area will look like. Depending on the length of the hall, there should be one towards the right end and towards the left end, as well as the middle. Mm -hmm. These whiteboards, oh, these are whiteboards, so you're welcome oh, to wow. fall on them as long as you have expo markers. Mm -hmm. And you can move stuff up there or erase it. It's totally up to you. And there's two to three of these on each floor? Yes. Gotcha. Depending on the length. I believe that six has two mm -hmm. because it's a shorter hallway. Gotcha. And now I think you'll show us a bathroom? Yes, that is... Which yeah, bathroom? Let me go to the bathroom down there. Yeah. Again, the second elevator. Yeah. And I think there's, was it, is it three bathrooms per floor or two? I can't remember. Yes, there, yeah. will be, there will be three bathrooms, one at the end of each hall as well as one in the middle. Mm -hmm. But again, that varies depending on the length of the hallway itself. Gotcha. This is the bathroom. Each bathroom should have three sinks and three toilets as well as three showers. Okay. So there's a shower down there, and there's some toilets, and some of these are can be smaller than, than the others, um, but generally speaking, yeah. All right. So now I think we're going to room 525. So this is room 525. Let's see if we can get to this would be an example. Yeah, the this gable. This is a gable. Mm-hmm. And can you explain uh, what a gable room is, kind of like a what the main difference is? Like this. It's when the uh -huh. roof is pointing in towards the... Mm -hmm. I so it's just formatted a little differently. Yes. And so I'm gonna move uh, move back, just show everything in here. Did the person respond with uh, their room number? Uh, no, no, I don't. I don't think they had. But um, so there's also gable rooms on the uh, on the sixth floor, and they're very similar to the uh, these ones. But I believe Trinity wasn't it that. It only has one window. It doesn't have the second yes. window. Some of them only have one window. Gotcha. You have a great view from being mm -hmm. this high up. Yeah. And all the furniture is movable, right? Yes, all the furniture is movable. Uh, however, we cannot remove furniture from the room. Gotcha. So that's the only thing. Mm -hmm. Move it wherever you want as long as it's in the room. You yeah. also get like a sink, a sink in each room, so mm -hmm. that's really nice as well. And then there's what closet on noir looks like. We'll move into one of the more typical rooms. Yeah. And let us know, y'all, if you have any questions about measurements or anything about living in founders. But now we'll see what a, a typical typical room looks like. And it's 527 is what we're going to. So this is room 527. This is what a typical room will look like. Um, it won't have a gable in it. Mm -hmm. And so that's really nice. Um, yeah, so same same furniture, really? Yes. Again, you can, the furniture is movable. Mm -hmm. So you can set up there however you like, whichever one is more, more comfortable. Loftable as well. Mm hmm. Lofted beds. Mm hmm. And I believe this, how, how tall is, is this one? I think um, this is about. I'm 5'1, so. <laughs> so about. Let's see how close we're going. Around. 60 inches, I imagine. Five feet. Five feet, gotcha. All right. So y'all be sure to let us know what questions you have about the room and founder. So we just got our first one. What is the measurement in between beds? Okay. Keep in mind, so, these are movable pieces. So. Yeah, and so also, I guess... It'll, oh, go on. What'd you say? It'll vary depending mm -hmm. on what's Yeah, on. yeah, vary. yeah. Four feet and 11 inches. So, so push up against the wall. Yes. Yeah. And again, you can move these, but I guess the typical typical dimensions will be four feet. And you said 10 inches or 11 inches? 11 inches. 11 inches between the beds. Okay. Next question is um, from the headboard to the headboard. So I imagine just from one end of the bed to the other, just the length of the bed frame. Six feet and ten inches for the length of the bed. And these are on our website at housing.uark.edu. Uh, We're currently doing an audit of the measurements, too, so they may not be 100% accurate, this but uh, we're operating. Inches. So let's, let's get that measure if you don't mind. Yeah. 
Hold on, sorry. Six feet and six inches. Yeah. Six feet and six inches. Will be the length of the mattress. All right. How high is the bed lofted? So I guess just how it is currently. Like um, the current setup of the bed, or do you yeah, know what it's I'd say the current setup. So just uh, from from. And I'll look up the range during. That. Yeah. Two feet and 11 inches. So it is currently heighted to two feet and 11 inches. Um, and again, you can loft it using a mallet. Um, uh, the, I believe the, the wedges are like every three inches. Yes. Um, and the max height right now is, uh, is about five Founders feet. will go from 24 inches to 59 inches. Every three inches between, between those two. Gotcha. How tall is the wardrobe? Will you hold a piece of paper? Yeah, sure. Actually, I bet if you went... If you went right from the top here. right there. Five feet and 11 inches. Five feet and 11 inches is the wardrobe. Are we allowed to loft them higher? Absolutely. Yes. Um, so, um, and by higher, like to the, to the max amount, which is uh, uh, five feet, 60 inches. And you can put in a maintenance request by going to fix it. Uh, I believe that fixit.uark.edu yeah. um, or Googling York fix it. Um, These are easy to, uh, to change yourself, though. Mm -hmm. You see the rubber mallet, and you can pop it out. Which gotcha. we rent at the front desk, so you can yeah. always check it out when you move in. All right. Trini, we have uh, another question. What if bed is A and what bed is B? Do you know the answer to that question? If not, I do. Um, bed A will be on the left-hand side, and bed B will be on the right-hand side. Mm -hmm. But you don't necessarily have to uh, stay committed to those sides, so whatever agreement you come up with your roommate um, is fine. Like, if you're roommate A, um, oh, it just got right in here. If, you, um, if you're uh, roommate A, you could technically live on the right side, but um, just let your RA know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, so right now we're all up to date on the questions, but Trinity, would you, uh, would you rather talk about A week or pick one? Oh, we can talk about pick one. So pick one mm -hmm. is you should get an email where it lets you pick um, one organization or a club or some event that you wanna get involved in. And should, we encourage that freshman to do that so that the way they can meet new people and engage in the community and just have a good um, first semester. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Are there, could you give examples of some of those organizations that you could join? Mm. I know, like, Lead Hogs, I, Lead Hogs is one. Lead Hogs, yeah. I um, think RSO is also one. Yeah, all the different types of RSOs uh, and like that. Um, there's just a bunch of different ones. Yeah, there's... Maybe you should have an email so you'll get to be able to pick and select and that's yeah, the thing. Yeah, there's... Too many to even count. So yeah, yeah, there's a lot of them. All right. Um, and then A week is the first week that you move in. There will be tons of events and different opportunities where you can meet new people. There, my favorite one is the Taste of Fayetteville. It's down by the Greek Theater, and they have a bunch of um, what's it called? Samples and Samples, food trucks. Foods and yeah, that sort of thing. It's really really good. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's free food, so you can't you can't lose. Yeah, and a great way to like make friends just that entire week during during A week. Yes. Just you know, you have all these social events to go to with uh, with your new friends. Yes. All right. Next question is dimensions of the wall with the window. So the wall on that side. Yes. Um, is there space? Again, this will vary. Yeah. Give me this one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's give it up for this point. Yeah. Eleven feet and seven inches. Eleven feet and seven inches. Uh, for the wall okay. with the window. And the height. Nine feet and five inches. Nine feet and five inches. Okay. All right. In the meantime, while we wait for more questions, any advice that you would give to incoming freshmen? Any words of wisdom, things you wish you knew? Get involved and make new friends and mm -hmm. talk to new people. Just, just learn. That's what you're here for. It's really exciting. Mm -hmm. It's really nice to meet new people. So just do that. Yeah. What's the secret to making new friends? I don't think there's um, a <laughs> mm -hmm. book to making new friends. I think it's just sort of, sort of just be yourself mm -hmm. and um, be willing to be open-minded and to grow. Mm -hmm. And that really is helpful in making friends. As well as just be nice and kind. You never know what someone's going through. And so just being that sort of supportive because you're going through it, you're new going through it, they're new going through it. Mm -hmm. Maybe you meet someone that's not new going through it 
but they experienced and were able to give you guidance. So again, just open-minded, really. Gotcha. That's a great answer. All right. Thank you for the great advice. So <laughs> another question is, what is the under-counter dimension under the sink side? Do they want from this bar or from the like inside? Um, hmm. Let's let's do both. Um, if, if that's okay. So from the bar, it'll be two feet and two inches. Two feet and two inches. And from the cabinet by the sink, it'll be two feet and eight inches. Two feet and eight inches. And then one more thing. Sorry, no, you just stood up. Uh, they also asked, and does the plumbing come uh, come down in that dimension as well? So there's the plumbing. Yes. So. Could you put a like a piece yeah. of paper? Uh, okay. One foot and three inches. So one foot and three inches. It's from sort of the in the line. middle. Mm -hmm. So if you would like, I can measure from the bar to the wall. Yeah. And that'll be a foot and five inches five from the inches. bar to the wall. So you'd be able to fit something in there that's approximately two feet. Yeah. And a foot and a half long. Yeah, and it's pretty like it's pretty out of the way. Um, yeah. So you can definitely definitely tuck some uh, things in there. Will we get to see a corner room? Um, I don't believe so. Let's see. Um, if they have a room number, then I can be. I yeah. Can if you want to drop your room number, we'll go look at it. Yeah, yeah. So just just let us know the room number, and then we can go see if, if that room is available right I'll now. We'll look and see if there's a corner room. Mhm. Mm yeah, we'll do another another look around the room. And you lived in Founders, actually. Yeah, I did um, in my freshman year. Yeah. Would you say you had plenty of plenty of uh, room for your space, room yeah. for your stuff? Yeah. It was a lot of room, mm -hmm. um, especially sharing with someone. It felt really spacious. Yeah. Um, but it also depends on how much you bring. So I live, yeah. I, I live in Fayetteville, like mm -hmm. I grew up here. So I was able to just leave some stuff at home and like travel 15 minutes or so to go pick it up. Gotcha. So um, just depends on how much you bring and how mm -hmm. much you leave. Yeah, and these rooms seem bigger, especially. Um, Compared to community style rooms, these ones seem a little bit bigger with oh, the yeah. Uh, these yeah. are definitely a little bigger for the community yeah. style than it is. Yeah, we just got a, the room number. It was four sixteen. Okay. Uh, um, we can look at one of the corners here. Okay. Gotcha. Um, let's let's go do that. We'll finish off. Yeah. There. And there was actually there was also one more question for the regular room: is how many outlets are in the room? Okay. It should be the same. Yeah, for, for every both rooms. It's always between six and twelve. Uh huh. With most being about eight or ten. Gotcha. It's a nice scene. So, we said four sixteen. I think oh, this would be fairly equivalent. Oh yeah, so this would be a corner room. This is yeah, a corner that's room. a corner room. Um, okay. If you're on the fourth floor, you won't have a gamble. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. And yeah. Time. So this is what a what a corner room would look like. Outlets go, yeah, it's almost always between six and twelve, depending on how we wired it up. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're talking about the, the number of outlets in the room? <laughs> the number yeah. Of outlets, yeah. yeah. These ones are a little, because I'm trying to see, because I know there's, there's one, two over here, and then. There's probably some under the sink. There's one down there, and there's one four. up there. Mm -hmm. There's uh, six right there. So. And there'll probably be one back there somewhere. Mm -hmm. So there's at least eight there. At least eight. Gotcha. Um, also, a quick perk is that these doors automatically lock. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to lock them. Don't have to oh, remember to lock them. Yeah. That's also a double-edged sword to make sure you bring your keys, right? Yeah, <laughs> also bring your keys. Uh -huh. I don't, don't want to get locked out. we got powerful AC going right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right it's, a, it's a little loud. Little, um... Any other questions for us about rooms? Yeah, should we go back to the other room? Oh, or... I mean, we can. If there's yeah. any more dimensions questions, if not, then we can mm. just sign so, off right yeah. here. And then this is another, another study room. But... A good thing about campus is we're really big on recycling. That's another mm -hmm. thing that's really enjoyable. Yeah. So, Get involved in that way in recycle. Mm -hmm. I think they do like a competition for like each, recycle mania. Yeah. yeah. For each mm -hmm. dormitory. Yeah. So. All right. Well, we had one last question, and then I think we can cut it. Can you open the wardrobe in the regular room? Yeah. And the wardrobes will be the same in every single room. Yeah. So we can just dip into this one. Yeah. Here. This one. Yeah. So all the furniture, no matter what the layout of the room, is going to be the same. So. This is uh, this is what it will look like, and that bar um, is actually technically be. I believe that bar is removable as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. 
so yeah. All right. Well, if there's no other questions, then Trina, you can you can sign us out. Thanks for thank giving you. us a tour. Yeah, thank you for joining us. We really enjoyed the questions, and have a great freshman year. Yeah, awesome. Thank you.